Hello YouTubers, this is Electron Man. We're going to do an unboxing on a, a Win 8 inch 5 speed drill press that I purchased. I'm probably tired of hearing about it from my new shop, but anyway, I built this workbench and uh, I actually have a need now for uh, for my drill press. I need to drill some holes and some pipe from working on an antenna mast for outside. So anyway, I thought I'd do a little box open in here. Uh, just received this. Uh, purchased it off of Amazon. It was a uh, what I thought was a really good deal. We'll have to see what what kind of a uh, quality we get. Anyway, it's a win 8 inch drill press. Let's go ahead and start unboxing it here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Then we got the manual. That looks like that is the chuck, which I'm going to buy a, a uh, keyless chuck. Looks like it's pretty good quality, but I'm not really in the, I prefer the keyless chucks. But anyway, let's put that to the side. Okay, here's the base plate. That's yeah, cast iron. That's a good sign. Set down there. Looks like we've got some, uh, Here. I'm going to just call this an unboxing and assembly because I am going to put it together as well. There's a, I can tell those are the arms for the for the drill press arm. Three bolts and an Allen wrench. Here is the main base part, which I'm assuming will set just like that. Pull that out. Da-da! Here's the main unit. Oh, here's the, uh, the platter. And here is the main unit. Let's see if I get it out of here. Wow. It's actually pretty heavy. And that's all there is in the box. And set this down. Now, so far, first impressions is heavy. That's a good sign. It's definitely not plastic. It's metal. Okay, go ahead and get all this plastic off of here. I don't think this is going to be too hard to assemble. I already noticed there, there's where your Allen wrench is. That's to connect the pedestal to the, the drill unit. Okay, so there's the main drill unit. Here's the platform pipe. Let me get this real bad over here back it up a little bit okay and here is the drilling pedestal I guess they would call it uh, this looks like this is gonna be really pretty simple to put together so all packaged out it's got three bolts three levers an allen wrench platter base pipe and main unit I don't need instructions for this I can kind of figure that one out pretty easy Straighted that way, so obviously these three bolts go in here. Don't look like they're keyed in any special way. Come on, let's start. There we go. One. And I need to figure out what size this is. I'm guessing metric, probably a 14 would be my guess. And it is 14. Ratchet out here. Last one just threaded in there. We'll go ahead and tighten them down. finger tied them down and then I'll cinch them up with the wrench. There we go. Well, that wasn't very hard. Step one. Got that on there. 
obviously the platform is going to slide around this. Go ahead and turn it around the right direction. Face this way. Slide that platform down. Tighten it up a little bit. Of course, it's got a degrees on there, so it'll actually. Uh, You can actually turn that platter. I guess you have to loosen that bolt to turn that platter, though. Yeah. Most of the time, I'm going to be doing zero degrees anyway, so. But that's kind of cool that you can tilt the, the platter. It's got one bolt underneath here you loosen, and you can twist the platter. And then the last piece would be this big old hoss. And let's see here. I'm missing just. Uh, Lift it up on here. Set it on. There she goes. I oh, just want to center it up. And tighten the, the two Allen screws here. One. Go ahead and put a little more torque on those. I don't want that thing sliding around. And tighten this one again. Now, there you go. And one more tighten on this side. And we're uh, we're, we're together. Oh, no, we're not. We're gonna put this on. Wow, that's gonna be complicated. So. Screw those in there like that. It's actually got a flat side on it too if you want to use a wrench. There we go. These are pretty heavy too. I'm tickled with that. They're not a they're not cheap filling there. Still. And now we have a drill press. Awesome. Even gives you a gauge here on the side here for height. I need to go up a little bit. Depending on your material, actually. Oh, that was about right. There we go. I guess we can go ahead and take a plug, plug it in. Uh, let's see here. It's five speed, so I'm assuming up top here. Oh, really? You're going to do that. Yeah, just loosen that cover, and there you get your set your speeds. Which obviously, the higher you go here, and the smaller you go here, the slower it's going to be. And the higher here you go, and the smaller here you go, the faster it's going to go. And it's actually got the speeds there. It looks like currently it's set up in the middle, so it's set up for fifteen hundred and thirty, which is probably a pretty good standard speed to be running at. That's that's nice. In fact, it even gives you the speed RPM range and Iron still it says quarter inch and 1530 so yeah seven eighths on wood that's perfect nice deal back there I'm actually gonna mount this to my bench I don't want to take up too much room so I'm gonna flatten it right out there I'll go ahead and mark that and I'm gonna go ahead and bolt that down to the bench because it definitely will be a, a permanent fixture on here. You always need a good drill press. Now let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it is. Nice. Nice and quiet. Really feels smooth moving. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video here for a second and get my key to check. I purchased one separate. It actually comes back here in a key. Which there's nothing wrong with a chuck like that and using the key. I, I just find it, a, I have a preference for keyless. I don't end up looking for the chuck all the time. That, it's just easier for me to kind of like a drill. I, I prefer the, the keyless one. But anyway, let me uh, let me find that. I'd ordered it earlier and uh, I need to go locate it. But uh, come back and I'll go ahead and mount that and we'll drill a couple holes and see how she does.
my uh, core, uh, keyless check that I purchased. And I will uh, provide a partner because it took me a little research to find that. But uh, anyway, there's a stock chuck, which it, they both work off of compression fitting. So it just fits in there, especially if you wanted to put the stock one on. But uh, I've chosen to uh, go with a keyless one. Feels to be really good quality. I got a bunch of good feedback on it. I think it was under $30, which is not bad when you're talking about a, a precision keyless chuck. But there she is. Basically, she just slides on there. Um, typically, what I do is I just use the uh, the pressure of the arm to kind of set it in there. But definitely, as you drill, it's going to get more tension. But there you go, it's set. Um, actually, let's go ahead and and then drill a hole in a pipe. Um, that's kind of why I started all this, anyways. I, I needed to take care of that. Let's, let's see how she does. Okay, got my bit installed. Let's uh, give it a little try and see how it does drilling through some pipe. The main reason I set this up. Here's some uh, wide shots of it. I'll take a look at it. Uh, actually, very impressed with it. Well constructed. It's quiet. Seems to be well balanced. I mean, uh, that's a nice little drill press. This video was produced by me, the Electron Man. And hey, if you get a chance, subscribe. It helps me out. And have a good day.